Welcome, cadets. I am Commandant Aix Rothro, and I am very proud to welcome you to Starfleet Academy Command School. Ever since uh, Starfleet Academy was founded, the United Federation of Planets has sought the best and the brightest from over a thousand worlds. Make it, Captain. Two years ago, we put out the call once again and challenged you to boldly go where no man has gone before. procedure is getting longer and longer well. every time. Now I'm sure you've all heard a lot about the Starfleet Academy simulator. Now those who excel will become the uh, Starship captains and command crews of tomorrow. But first, you must learn the grave responsibilities of command. It is now my distinct honor to introduce the new Chief of Command School. I'm Captain Hikaru Sulu. I'll be with you the next two years before I take command of the USS Excelsior. It's my job to create the Starfleet captains of the future. I will test you on your ability to manage your crew. Remember, you will no longer be judged solely by your own conduct, but also by the conduct of those you command. And now, my close friend and our distinguished guest, Captain James T. Kirk. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to Command College. You've just embarked on the most challenging course that the Academy has to offer, and also the most rewarding it is often said that command school cadets are the best of the best, and it's also said that uh, I commanded the best, the best ship, the best crew. Truth is, there's no such thing as the best. One ship may be brand new, state of the art, but it also has countless bugs to work out. Another ship may be 100 years old and uh, shake like a rattle, but the bugs are long gone, and that's why she's 100 years old. Same goes for your crew. They may be technical wizards, but if they can't work as a team, their skills are useless to you. When you meet your crew, you'll find a thousand abilities and talents and flaws all crackling against each other. And that's where you come in. Those of you who succeed in building a team will be among the elite few to take us to the stars. Good luck, fair weather, and never forget that risk is your business. Cadets log. First entry. 
Cadet David Forrester logging on. Today they took us for a tour of the simulator, and for the first time, I met my crew. That's Jeffrey Corrin, my navigator. He's from one of the wealthiest families on Alpha Centauri. Rumor has it he was up for command school, but didn't take it because he doesn't like the responsibility of command. Of course, rumor also has it that his photon torpedoes never miss. At the helm is Jana Acton. She's from the mining colony on Rigel 12 in the Levantine Expanse. She hasn't had an easy life. They live pretty rough out there, especially by Federation standards. My engineer is Robin Brady, from Colorado, on Earth. He's a quiet guy, but I'm told he can tear apart and rebuild a warp drive in record time. Over by communications, that's Vanda Magia. She's the oldest daughter of a prominent Andorian ambassador. Most Andorians never expected her to take on a heavy responsibility like Starfleet. My science officer is Sturek, from Vulcan. I worked with him in some computer classes last year. He's brilliant, even by Vulcan standards. Cadets. We're scheduled to complete familiarization later this morning, and this afternoon we fly our first real simulator mission, our trial by fire. Let's hope we're ready for it. Cadets, this is your first Starfleet Academy mission. Several star systems are threatened by drifting minefields. Your job is to destroy the mines and to capture the devices controlling them. Further instructions will be sent to you as your mission progresses. Now, Mr. Forrester, we need you to choose your vessel. The more powerful your vessel, the more difficult the scenario will become. I'd like a Constitution class. I'm fond of the Constitution class myself. Good luck, cadets. Captain's log, stardate 2967.5. Weapons of war do not recognize truces, ceasefires, or peace treaties. They're capable of killing millennia after their wars have been forgotten. Our mission involves these weapons. We must neutralize several dangerous minefields that are threatening Federation space. Message from Starbase, Captain. Warp to System S1222. By pressing keys Shift and W to engage warp. Your course is automatically plotted by your navigator if it is a mission objective. Course laid in, Captain.
Entering System 1222, Captain. After entering the system, go to Red Alert by pressing the A key and then the R key. Target a mine. Use the keypad zero or period keys to cycle through targets. The targeted item will have a square around it. If the square is red, it is in phaser range. If the red square has crosshairs, the target is in photon torpedo range. The keypad plus keys selects the nearest target. These mines fire weapons at the ship and explode in close proximity to the ship. Do not approach them too closely. Button one on the joystick will fire phasers, and button two will fire the photon torpedoes. Each ship has a limited complement of photon torpedoes on board, so use them sparingly. Lower shields have been hit! The matter-antimatter balance is stable again, Captain. You can go to warp at any time. Starboard shields have been hit! Port side shields have been hit! Upper shields have been hit! Starboard. Upper shields down to 50%. Tractor beams have been hit. We've completed repairs on the tractor beams, sir. Upper, she upper shields are at critical, sir. We've completed warp engines have been hit. The warp drives are fit as crystal now, Captain. Upper shields are at critical, sir. Port side shields repaired. Completed repairs on the tractor beam. Aft shields repaired. Mine destroyed. Mine destroyed. Mine destroyed, Captain. Lower shields repaired. Mine destroyed, Captain. Mine destroyed, After destroying all mines, target the first mine controller. Switch to disabling phases by pressing the F key. Note, photon torpedoes do not have a disabling mode. Using photon torpedoes on a disabled ship will destroy it. Once the mine controller is disabled, Starfleet will order you to go to system S1622. Warp to system S1622 by pressing Shift and W. Mine destroyed. Forward shields repaired. Lower shields have been hit! Lower shields. Lower shields have been hit! Lower shields have been hit! You have completed your mission in this system. Proceed to System 1622. Course laid in, Captain. Forward shields repaired. Entering system 1622, Captain. Target and destroy all mines once more. Lower shields have been hit! 
What side shields have been hit? Complete repairs on the track to get started. Lower shields down to 50%. Starboard shields have been hit. Upper shields have been hit. Complete repairs on the track to get sir. Lower shields down to 50%. Mine destroyed. Starboard shields repaired. Mine destroyed. Port side shields repaired. Disable second mind controller. Disable second mind controller. Mind destroyed, Captain. Upper shields have been hit. Looks like shields repaired. Upper shields repaired. Lower shields repaired. Forward shields have been hit. We've completed repairs on the tractor beam, sir. Upper shields have been hit. All warp engines have been hit. The warp drives are good as a fiddle now, Captain. Forward shields, starboard shields have been hit. Warp engines have been hit. Forward shields have been hit. Forward shields have been hit. Mine destroyed. Mine destroyed. Tractor forward shields repaired. We've completed repairs on the. Tractor the mind controller. While the controller is targeted and within 2,000 units, press the T key. Forward shields repaired. to Starbase by pressing Shift and W. You have successfully tractored the mind controller. Starfleet will be pleased. Frequency open. Mission accomplished, Starfleet. Mission Congratulations. You have dealt with overwhelming odds in a manner consistent with the best traditions of Starfleet. Good afternoon, crew. Hey, hello there. I asked y'all to meet me here so we could get acquainted. Did everyone get a drink? <laughs> yes. Any chance of something stronger? <laughs> Not on my salary. So, uh, you, you want to sit down?
So, um, what did you think of Rothro's speech today? Well, I didn't agree with Rothro. I mean, you can't invent a rule for every situation. Perhaps not, but statistically speaking, the current Starfleet regulations have brought the Federation unprecedented success. I don't think we have a choice here. If we don't follow the established procedures, we simply invite chaos. Starfleet's not perfect, Janna, and neither are the regs. Perhaps not, but I didn't apply to Starfleet because I thought I knew better than the best minds in the Federation. Well, maybe you didn't, but I know I have something to offer to Starfleet. Uh, uh why did you get into Starfleet, Corn? I bought my way in. Hey, don't look so surprised. There's a two-for-one sale on Shuttlecraft today. <laughs> look, Corn, this may be a joke to you, but it is a privilege to be here at Starfleet. I worked hard to get here. So, Jana, how did you get here anyway? Stealing the local shuttle or just hitching a ride on your garbage car? Both of you, stop! She can't take a joke. No one acts like this on my crew. I'm really sorry. Look, maybe that's enough getting acquainted for today. In the interest of completeness, I suggest we hear from Robin. Oh, right. Uh, Robin? Uh, what about you? Uh, I wasn't even sure I wanted to join Starfleet. I was happy working on the weather control satellite monitoring systems. Starfleet's a lot more socially complex. <laughs> socially complex? <laughs> Corn. Sorry. I just want to be able to serve, that's all. I concur. When one has the capabilities that are of use to the many, service is the only logical response. I agree, absolutely. And we'll all get that chance. To the crew. <laughs> to the crew. Here, here. The Kelsey Collective, a culture which died over 100,000 years ago, marked their territory with highly radioactive marker buoys. As with all Kelsey artifacts, Federation law prohibits their removal from that system, and we have several probes monitoring any activity that may endanger their status. Recently, our probe in the Huron system malfunctioned. It is your mission to replace that probe. In addition to that, duty cadets, you are to protect the artifacts of the Kelsey Collective at all costs. Captain's Log, Stardate 2980.6. We've been assigned to the Huron system to replace a faulty probe that monitors a field of artifacts. We expect an uneventful mission. Warp to the Huron system by pressing Shift and W. Course laid in, Captain. Entering Huron system, Captain. The edge of the Kelsey Collective Artifact Field is dead ahead, Captain. Target a boy or probe debris by pressing either the keyboard slash and asterisk keys or the keypad zero or period keys. Non-hostile targets and non-ship targets are selected using the keyboard slash or asterisk keys. Do not Target Artifact Boy 1. Launch a replacement probe by pressing the P key. Probes are modified photon torpedoes without the warhead, so they are also taken from your photon complement. Don't use them recklessly. Captain, sensors are detecting a freighter within the restricted zone. It is the Kaizag, a stolen freighter that was reported missing Stardate 5680.2. Captain, it is removing a marker buoy. They're not returning our hails, Captain. Captain, the Kaizak has gone into warp. It is set course for the Onyx system. Course laid in, Captain. Follow the Kaizak to the Onyx system. Approaching object. Radiation approaching hazardous levels. Replacement probe launched. Mission objective complete.
Now entering Onyx system, Captain. Captain, the freighter has released the artifact. It is heading directly for Onyx 2. Capture the artifact, boy, before it hits the planet. Go to yellow alert by pressing the A and then Y keys, and target the artifact boy by pressing the keypad zero or period keys. Then get within 2,000 units and tractor beam the boy by using the T key. Then hail Starfleet by pressing the H and then one keys. They're not returning our hails, Captain. Approaching object. Radiation approaching hazardous levels. in our tractor beam, sir. The beam has been released, sir. Shields repaired. We've completed repairs on the phasers. Port side shields online. Return the Kazakh's hail by pressing H, then 2. Request the captain to surrender. Be diplomatic, but firm. The freighter has been disabled, sir. I am Captain Marv Markai of the Federation freighter Kazakh. I intend to file an official protest on your actions and this unprovoked attack. You have freighter Kazakh. This is the USS Banting. We request that you stand down immediately and surrender. Although we admit no wrong on our part, we agree to your terms. Captain, the Kaizag is following us. They're not returning our hails, Captain.
have the buoy in our tractor beam, sir. Hailing frequency open. Starbase 12, we've got a radioactive buoy from the Kelsey Collective locked in our tractor beams. I would like further instructions before proceeding. USS Banting, take the object to a safe distance from Onyx 2, then destroy it. Take the boy a safe distance from the planet. Sturek will tell you when, and come to a full stop by pressing 5 on the keypad or the tilde key. Release the probe by pressing the T key again after you are at a complete stop. Go to red alert by pressing keys A, then R. Target the boy by pressing the keypad zero and period, and destroying it using your phasers and photon torpedoes. It is now safe to destroy the object. Entering Huron system, Captain. The edge of the Kelsey Collective Artifact Field is dead ahead, Captain. has been returned to the artifacts field. Frequency open. Mission accomplished, Star. Starfleet ordered you to destroy a radioactive artifact. Instead, you deliberately disobeyed orders and returned it to the place where it was stolen. Starfleet doesn't like its orders to be blatantly disobeyed. Except when they are as obviously flawed as those were. Well done, Cadet. Congratulations. You have dealt with overwhelming odds in a manner consistent with the best traditions of Starfleet. Once you are out of direct communication with Starfleet, You'll face challenges we cannot anticipate. Your ship, and maybe even the entire Federation, will have to live with the consequences of your decisions. Now, despite the events presented in the first two simulations, we are not just testing your combat ability. You must be able to make well-informed decisions. Good afternoon, class. We have a guest speaker today, an expert on Klingon affairs, Captain James T. Kirk. Thank you, Commandant Rothera. I'd like to say that I'm honored to teach these fine young cadets. There is a serious situation on the Klingon border. A small Klingon and Romulan combined fleet has crossed the neutral zone and is advancing on Epsilon IV. Now, there's some bad blood between the Epsilon colonists and the Klingons for decades. We believe the Klingons are planning some sort of punitive action against the colony. That still doesn't explain why they're working with Romulans. It will be up to you to protect the Epsilon system until reinforcements arrive without starting a war. Do not return to base until you get authorization from Starfleet. Dismissed. Captain's Log, Stardate 4055.4. A long, bloody war with the Klingons is probably the Federation's greatest fear. 
And once again, an incursion from the Klingons has brought us to the brink. Course laid in, Captain. Captain, I'm receiving a distress signal from the Medusan freighter Auriga in Beta Epsilon. It's being attacked by a Klingon bird of prey. Course laid in, Captain. A Klingon bird of prey is attacking the freighter, entering Beta Epsilon system. The bird of prey is moving to intercept us. Forward shields have been hit. Forward shields are critical, sir. That shield system is damaged, Captain. The photons are damaged to the photons. Are the system is critical. Forward shields online. Forward shields have been hit. Forward shields are critical, sir. Phases are online again. Ready to fire on your orders. Lower shields are there. Forward shields are critical, sir. Lower shields down to 50%. Lower shields are critical, sir. Lower shields online. This is a standard intersystem freighter. It has minimal armament and an engine capability of no better than warp 3. The warp drives are fit as a fiddle now, Captain. We've completed repairs on the tractor beam, sir. <laughs> Damage, Captain. Repair crews are working on it. The object is too fast to tractor, Captain. Forward shields repaired. Lower shields online. That shield system is damaged, Captain. Repair crews are working on it. We've completed repairs on the warp drives. Aft shields repaired. Lower shields online. We've completed repairs on the tractor beams. Forward shields have been hit. Lower shields are critical, sir. The object is too fast to tractor. Captain. I'm receiving a distress signal from the Freighter Drake and Gamma Epsilon. It's being attacked by a Klingon bird of prey. That shield system is damaged, Captain. Repair crews are working on it. Entering Gamma Epsilon system. A Klingon bird of prey is attacking the Freighter. Portside shields online. Captain, the bird of prey is moving to intercept us. Klingon bird of prey decloaked. 
Starboard shields down to 50%. Forward shields have been hit. Forward shields down to 50%. Upper shields, shields are critical, sir. We need repairs on upper shields repaired. We got our engines back online, Captain. You can take her into warp any time now. Lower shields have been hit. Upper shields have been hit. Upper shields down to 50%. Lower shields repaired. Port side shields down to 50%. Lower shields have been hit. Starboard shields down to 50%. That shield system is damaged, Captain. We're working on it. Starboard, that shield system is damaged, Captain. Repair crews are working on it. Half shields online. Lower, lower shields down to 50%. Lower shields are a critical, sir. Starboard shields online. Lower shields are a critical, sir. Upper shields repaired. Tractor beam. Port side shields repaired. Lower shields online. Forward shields repaired. Upper shields have been hit. Complete repairs on the tractor beam, sir. Upper shields are critical, sir. We've completed repairs, sir. I need more time to fix the drive. Life support is critical! Port side shields repaired. That shield system is damaged, Captain. Repair crews are working on it. We've completed repairs on the tractor beam, sir. Forward shields are critical, sir. Port side shields have been hit. That shield system is damaged, Captain. Repair crews are working on it. Forward shields online. Port side shields online. Lower shields repaired. Upper shields repaired. Aft shields repaired. Forward shields are critical, sir. Lower shields have been hit. That shield system is damaged, Captain. Repair crews are working on it. Port side shields repaired. Lower shields online. Entering the Epsilon system. The Klingon is moving to intercept us. Captain Epsilon 4 reports they've been attacked by Klingon. He says the shields are down, and we are now able to transport Given Orion aboard. We have him. Sir, a Romulan warper is decloaking. The D7 has triggered an auto destruct sequence, Captain. USS Agatha, this is fine. A Romulan ship has just attacked the Federation research base on Castle 2. The attack on Epsilon was just a diversion. Return to base immediately. Stop the out. Captain, I'm getting a transmission beamed on all channels from Kumas to base. On screen, Lieutenant. I am Kumas, governor of the Hansnar province, patriarch of Clan Tarkat, and hero of Kronos IV. For years, we have been forced to endure the treachery of the Federation colonists of Epsilon IV. Now they are arming rebels on the Klingon world of Intah. This will not be tolerated. I promise the Klingon people, we will have justice, or we will have blood. Force laid in. Forward shields down to 50%. Forward shields are critical, sir. support system offline. Photons are critical. Forward shields online. Phasers are operational again, Captain. Forward shield system.
system is damaged, Captain. Repair crews are working on it. We got our engines back online, Captain. You can take her into warp any time now. Hailing frequency open. Mission accomplished, Starfleet. You've done well, Cadet. The Governor was saved, and so were the freighters. Your crew works well together, in spite of their occasional bickering. You did extraordinarily well. It was a nearly flawless mission. I have nothing but praise, but I've never been particularly good with praise. Come in. Hi, Jana. Have a seat. So, what's up? It's about Corrin. He's out of control. I've been worried about him, too. It's affecting Robin as well. Haven't you noticed how he's been in the simulator? H how's Corrin's attitude affecting Robin? <sighs> Look. It's not that I mind Corrin going out with that cadet. It's just that he wasn't even interested in her until he found out Robin had a crush on her. Hold on, what cadet? I'm talking about Faith Gage. Haven't you heard about her? <laughs> no, I, I've been too busy with my studies. Look, I'll check into it, okay? I'll be in the simulator. Cadet's log, supplemental. Apparently, I'm expected to monitor the love life of my crew, as well as lead them. Welcome back again, cadets. Our intelligence believes that Governor Kumas, the Klingon commander behind the attack on Pascal II, is acting without the sanction of the Klingon High Council. On top of that, there's been a battle between one of the Romulan warbirds that raided Pascal II and two of our ships, the USS Demeter the USS Alexandria. Unfortunately, the Demeter was destroyed in the battle. The Romulan's warp engines were damaged as well. You will join the Alexandria and the USS Rutherford in their search for the damaged Romulan. If we're lucky, we'll catch her before she can repair her engines and warp out of the system. Good luck. Captain's log, Stardate 3551.3. We are on a mission to intercept an intruder into Federation space, and we hope learn more about the reasons for the Klingon Romulan invasion. Course laid in, Captain. Entering the Pascal system. Captain, the commanding officers of the Alexandria and the Rutherford are standing by. Captain, I have a theory on how we might find the Romulan. Go on. Space is not completely empty. There are still atoms in space distributed evenly by the Big Bang. However, a cloaked ship would mask these atoms and register as a perfect vacuum. A single ship would take weeks to scan even a small area of space, and they would detect more anomalies than genuine readings. However, two ships with all power diverted to sensors could serve to eliminate anomalies while a third ship searched. We might find the Romulan in hours, maybe minutes. Lieutenant McGeeha, pass on Mr. Stirk's plan to the Alexandria and the Rutherford. We'll conduct the search. They'll remain on station. 
Yes, sir. Nothing to report, Captain. We're all a little nervous with the cloaked Romulan running around. We'll do our job. Alexandria out. Hailing frequency open. Everything is... We haven't found the Romulan, but I'm confident we'll soon clip her wings. Rutherford out. A sensor anomaly briefly appeared to port, Captain. What is it, Mr. Stork? It could be an anomaly, or it could be the Romulan. We should try to localize our search. Course laid in, Captain. A sensor anomaly briefly appeared to port. A sensor anomaly briefly appeared to starboard, Captain. These are the remains of the USS Demeter. It was destroyed by a barrage of Romulan plasma torpedoes. A sensor anomaly briefly appeared to starboard, Captain. A sensor anomaly briefly appeared ahead, Captain. A sensor anomaly briefly appeared ahead, Captain. Captain, we found the Romulan. The Romulan is decoding, sir. Your shield's down to 50%. The warp drives are fit as... Captain, two Klingon D7s have just warped into the system. Captain, we're being hailed by the Klingons. Audio channels only. I am Katara, captain of the Klingon war cruiser Patrol. The Romulan is an ally of the traitor Kumas. Surrender him now, or be destroyed! Captain, the Patrol's transponder codes match one of the ships that crossed the Federation border with the invasion fleet. Nice. Klingon vessel, you are in violation of the Organian peace treaty. Surrender at once. We Klingons do not know the meaning of that word. Upper shields have been hit! Track more shields repaired. Complete repairs on the tractor beam. Upper shields repaired. More shields have been hit! Forward shields down! Forward shields are critical, sir! Lower shields repaired. They are not returning our hails, Captain. Lower shields have been hit! That shield system is damaged. Air crews are working on it. Photons are critical! Laid in, Captain. Readying photon tube. We heard your recall signal, Captain. We'll follow you back to Starbase. Tubes. Captain, we heard the recall signal. We'll follow you back to Starbase. Lower shields online. Phasers are operational again, Captain. Captain, I'm getting a transmission beamed on all channels from Klingon space. I am Kumas of the Hansnar province. We have ended the insurrection in Intach, uncovered a Federation sensor system used to spy on our worlds, and humiliated the Federation's fleet at Pascal 5. I will not compromise the security of Hansnar province. I will not bow to Federation pressure. No one will deter us from our right to act as we please to pursue the greater glory of the Klingon Empire!
forward shield. Hailing frequency open. Mission accomplished, Starfleet. You have done exceptionally well on this mission. Dealing with a cloaked Romulan ship is one of the most difficult tasks you'll ever have to face. 